Hello internet, welcome back to Azel's TV. Now today, ho oh, ho, you're gonna love today. Today we are on part 28 of our old friend, the electromechanical wooden clock build. Now in a previous video I showed you this massive piece of plastic. So let's make a window for the clock, shall we? This will be fun. Not sure how I'm gonna deal with this because I lack a sufficiently large work area to accommodate such a big Magian slab of plastic. So I'm gonna have to improvise. Hmm. Good. So now to cut out the 30 by 40 centimeter piece that I need for the window. Fun times. Yes. Nice clean break. That's what we want. Will it fit? First time checking. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. Right. Let's cut some strips of wood to go inside here to captivate it in place. So this window will be mounted behind this edge here, which keeps it in place. I'm going to cut some bits of wood to fit behind like that and everything just sits on this edge behind this frame here and I'll barely have enough wood I mean this will work if I cut it in half this is just about long enough it's hard to get on camera but yep so I've got this bit to cut now go down there this one will be cut in half and go there and there and then another piece a random piece for up here so unfortunately I didn't have enough in the shop of one continuous piece, all one piece. So it's going to be a couple of different um, sizes of wood, but it should be okay. It should still work and look okay. So the first thing is measuring this piece of wood to go across inside here. I'll show you in this end. There we go. Down in there and form a little ridge for the plexiglass window to sit in. And it's nice and easy to measure, I could just put this across here like this. Measure this end. And then cut it to length. And do the same with the other bits along here. A bit too tight. And that will glue in there like that. Perfect. Leaving a protective layer on for now until the very last moment when I can put the glass in properly. Protect it from scratches and dust and all that other, all that other nonsense. This has been gluing up while I've had some lunch and did some video editing. I've put just a few clamps on here to hold it all in place. Just one or two clamps. And that 
should be nice and white tin blue. Right now. This will be a bit stiff in the gap. Which is pushed against the perspex, however. Ooh. Once I get the protective covering off of it, it the whole looks gonna be thinner anyway. So it'll fit a little bit better in this gap. So next job is going to be there we go. And I'm gonna glue these in in case I need to remove this, but I'm gonna mark some holes or mark places for holes rather in the ends, each end of this, and then screw them into place in the wood. I'm gonna be using those brass threaded inserts and some N3 threaded screws to go into the ends. I'll glue all those out but symmetrically so they're not oriented a particular way, I can use any one on either side and either way around and so on. Otherwise it gets a bit silly and I have to mark which one goes in which place and uh, that's just a headache. So, let's mark off for some holes in the ends. Glue those out. Put those against there, mark off the holes in the wood. Glue that out. Put the brass insert in, put that back in, screw it in place, done. Let's go. dissipate all the static nice alcohol wipe excellent I'll give it a light dry paper towel and that can be fit I can hear the comments already do you want streaks this is how you get streaks Still a bit streaky, but uh, all right, very nice. Excellent. That's that done for now. So that is me done for this week. Looking nice. I took the plexiglass out of the entire thing. I laid it on a a towel I had opened on the floor. Went just complete ham on it with some window cleaner both sides, and that's taken all the streaks out. There's a few minor like scuff marks and stuff on the surface, but you can't really see it unless you catch the light just right. But hanging on the wall, it's going to look really nice. So please do that. Excellent. Well, that is it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. If you have been, next week I plan to do some firmware upgrades, and that will be the penultimate step. That'll be part 29. Then part 30 will be a sort of an omnibus, if you like, of what I've done so far. Just complete closure for the project, and I can start the next thing, which is pretty good. So, if you're not already, get subscribed, hit that notification button so you know when I upload. Check out my Patreon, I've left links down below, I've got a link in the card which is this side I believe? I can never remember, I think it's this side. So check that out, if you can support me on Patreon, that helps put money towards projects and videos for you guys to watch and everything else. It will really really help me out, helps the channel out, helps your videos out and what I'm doing here. Thank you again so much, if you've got any questions, leave in the comments down in the doobly-doo, and I'll see you all next week, have a great one. Thank you.